Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thank you to all those who have been supporting me and watching all my videos. I noticed that people who watch my videos are those who aren't subscribed. So please do me a favor and subscribe. For today's video, I'll be doing, as the title said, Rihanna inspired Jumbo Lux, but make it ginger. I'm really, really excited and I hope you guys are too. So, I mean, if you want to see these results, if you want to see how I get this done, definitely tune in. Okay, so at this time, I am undoing my twist. As you can see, my hair is still wet because I've just freshly colored my roots. You can tell that it's a little bit over-processed. But I mean that's fine however if you want to see how I achieve this color I'm gonna add the link and you can just check that out okay so it's time to start parting off my hair so we're talking about grids I don't want my hair to be too small since it's jumbo locks so we're gonna part with that in mind so I am looking that way because I have a three-way mirror up and I'm looking into the mirror so I can see the back of my head which is a pain in the ass so I would recommend you getting a three-way mirror if you do your hair and you struggle with parting I am through with the back and this is how it's looking I just give myself some twists so this is how my hair is looking after I sectioned it and also uh, Twist it, you can plait it if you want anything. So this is how the back is looking as well. And now we're just gonna go into hair. The hair that I'm using is twisted up expression hair. And I got it in 350 since I'm a ginger head now. You can also get Marley braid because you just need something kinky, something coarse. So yeah, I couldn't get the Marley hair in 350 i think the marley here or marley braid or whatever you want to call it i think it would be ideal for this style but since i only saw the 350 in twisted up i'm just gonna go along with it i don't really think it matters though so i got four packs of these i want it at a decent length you know like back length but not butt length type of vibe yes yeah, so i got four of these hopefully that can do the trick i also got hair wax yes mousse and you're gonna need a crochet needle so yes let's begin first we're going to section a piece of your hair i'm gonna start off small just because i want my roots to be thin a bit thinner than the rest i don't know i think it looks seamless more let me do it that way what you're gonna do is insert your your crochet needle like that then you're gonna hook the hair and you're gonna pull it through yeah also i didn't do my my twist too tight because i need space so that i can wrap if you do it too tightly at the roots and when you begin to wrap, it's going to be too much tension there on your scalp. So, yeah. Take some of my hair wax and just put it at the roots like that. But just enough. Because I want it to look neat, you know? And then I'm going to start wrap. But firstly, you want a longer end or you want a shorter end? So I'm going to use the shorter end to start wrap. As I said, I want the roots to be thin, so I'm not going to wrap too much at the roots. And so after you've done that, I'm going to take another piece of hair and just continue wrapping down. And just pushing up, pushing up the so that it's, I don't know, 
It looks fatter. Just pushing it up so that it has more texture, I guess. And I'm gonna add more hair. And so when I'm almost at the end, I just So as you can see, my hair is through, but I've decided last minute that I'm just going to lengthen it a bit more because I want it to look more like Rihanna's own. So yeah.
And so, this is the final look. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do my brows now. I'm gonna use the same uh, dye that I used on my hair. So, I've never bleached my brows before, but I just wanted to give it a try. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't think I'm gonna leave it for <laughs> about a minute. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to look and see when it starts to change because I don't want it to be exactly ginger. I want it to be like brown, if that makes sense. So, um, as soon as I see it turn into like that auburn, um, brown type of look, I'm gonna just quickly just take it off. And so I'm gonna use this little part and I have a bit left from when I dyed my hair. So, see, I'm just gonna use a little bit. So I think this is like more than enough. I'm gonna use a bit of this, a little bit. I know you guys can't see. I'm gonna use a spoolie and just mix that in. I'm gonna push my hair back. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, that is strong. That is strong, it's burning my eyes. All right, so that's one down, the other to go. Okay. I don't know if anything is happening. I have no idea. I'm gonna wait and see. And this is the final product on our Riri inspired jumbo locks. I hope you love it. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you so much. Please like, like, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Click that button. Yeah. Thank you and share this video leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching until next time